Hi everyone, my name is Ethan Booker and I'm from Bathurst in New Brunswick and you're watching Booker Guys videos. Have a good day. Good morning, friends and foes. What is today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday. Middle of the week. I gotta pick up a load of tool on today. They want me there at noon. So I'm gonna be there much earlier. <laughs> if I gotta wait, well, I gotta wait. But they're usually pretty good. They're usually there, uh, uh, they're usually ready for me earlier than that. But it's better to be early than late, right? And it's better to have coffee in your blood before you start work. And that's where we are now, Tim Hortons. Because the world is just not making sense to me yet. We need coffee. I don't care if it's Tim Hortons or if it's Starbucks or if it's homemade coffee. It just can't be bad coffee. It's just got to be good. We bought a new couch. We did it. We just took the plunge. There we go. Down the hole. We went to go look at uh, uh, <laughs> recliner chairs. Britt wanted a recliner chair for her birthday, which is in July. So we went to go and look around to see what was available. And we walked out with a full living room set. <laughs> uh, it's being delivered on uh, next Tuesday, so in less than a week now. Uh, the couch is being delivered first. It's a sectional, actually. It's really nice. I'm really excited about it. One second. She's yelling at me here. And he's... Hello. Hello, how are you? Could I get a sausage farmer's wrap with uh, creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle? Yeah, for sure. Any size of coffee to make it a combo? Yeah, could I get a large coffee uh, with one cream and shot of espresso? Yep, any size? A uh, hash brown. Sounds good. That'll come up to 910. Thank you. You're welcome. You could hear her yelling in the speaker already. Well, not yelling, but you know, talking into the speaker already. Sometimes when the person in front of you doesn't move up far enough, you can't get close enough to the speaker to make your order. And then they start talking to you like you can hear them. <laughs> ah, first world problems. First world problems. The drive through. Anyways, yeah, I'm excited to show you this couch. I spent a little bit of a nice shiny penny on it. It's uh, going to be coming with us to our new house, obviously. Matching recliner, rocking recliner for Brit and for me. Who are we kidding? And I've seen your comments already. I know all this talk about uh, trucks, buying trucks, and now I'm talking that we bought furniture. Don't worry, our, our plans to build our house are still on, on track. Everything is still on track. For a couch, we needed that really badly. The old couches are going to the shop. And uh, all those new couches are going to be so good. So we really did need that upgrade. That's coming with us to our new house. So that's just part of the new house already. And uh, as for a truck, well, if I end up uh, end up getting one, well, trucks make you money, right? It's a business investment, a business which generates money. Trucks do cost money too, but they also generate money. Uh, it's a risky business to get into owner-op because you could make a lot of money or you could lose a lot of money or you could lose a lot of money and then make a whole lot of money again or you could make a whole bunch of money and then lose it all it's like going to vegas buying a truck i am obviously exaggerating buying a truck isn't that that big of a gamble it's a gamble so don't worry i've got all the bases covered the house plans to build are still on track probably for about 2027 that's when we're thinking we're going to do it if we can do it sooner great if not that is a deadline that I personally set for myself and that I've talked uh, that Britt and I have talked about and that we've set for ourselves not just for me so everything is hunky-dory whether or not we decide to go uh, this way or that way the coach that's an expense a coach does not make you money it costs you money it costs you time and money but a truck done right can make you money it's an investment you still got to do business Everybody needs their stuff moved. And the reason I mention all that is uh, simply because I've seen more than one comment asking me, oh, what about saving for your house? Not to worry, folks, not to worry. That's still on track. So we gotta open her up. Uh. Open 
one. I don't know if it's easier to pull it or to push it. Uh, try pushing it. Needs a little bit of bull snot grease on these things. Uh, I'm also pushing with my left hand. I usually push from the other side. <sighs> one second. Let me put you there. I need both hands. Come on, open it. Hey, I really need to start exercising. I need to get in shape. I'm always so tired. Like, I get tired easily or not sleeping well. And I think a lot of that would be fixed with just some regular uh, exercise routines. Because as much as you hate getting going on exercising, once you're going and in a routine and after you exercise yourself, you always feel so much better, right? Look at me, I shouldn't be out of breath from doing that. I didn't sleep as well last night either again, so there's that. Ah, I'll just go to bed earlier tonight, right? Catch up tonight. I've actually been debating joining my gym again. I think I'm gonna do it. Just gotta find a time that works because I'm so busy usually that I don't have a lot of extra time even if like I wanted to go to the gym every day just for an hour even it's, it's hard to find an hour in the day but it's necessary right if I could find an hour every day to go I'll probably get to live years longer at the end of my life I'll also feel better I'll get better sleep and it also keeps away depression and anxiety when you exercise. Another load loaded. This one's going to Iowa. Well, I'm bringing it to our yard, but uh, we're gonna have one of our drivers bring it there. It's a little wet here, but that's okay. I had to back up so we could use this uh, dry area here to get some of this freight on. Oh boy. Oh, and we're stuck. Okay. Fun times. <laughs> I'm gonna need to do two hands for this. Hold on. Let's put you like over here. I should really be wearing gloves. not my day, is it? <sighs> now when we go back to the other side, it should make it easier. Once you get one side in, the other side usually follows pretty quick. It's just that we're on a little bit of a slant here, I guess. And the top is further away than the bottom. forward just a couple of inches which means I've got to give it a little love tap it's right in the water too uh, these trailers are uh, needy these are waterproof shoes so it should be good <laughs> there we go see this is too far back here got to should move it forward just a bit like that now the front come in just fine. I'm really glad I bought these waterproof shoes. 
They were kind of expensive, but they've sure come in handy. There you go. Working with these roll tights is... It's an adventure. Especially the older ones. forward put my rear end down there and then make my my move make my move to get out of here I can't forget I've got a fuel today I'm gonna fuel here in Toulon almost forgot Wonderful, wonderful pipes. The most important part of a truck, I might add. Other than the engine itself, you know. You gotta be able to hear the engine, so that's part of the engine, you know. The most important part of the truck is the engine. And the pipes are attached to that, you know, so it's all important. You wanna be able to hear it. If you can't hear the engine, is it really there? Who knows? You always gotta pop the hood and check just to make sure the engine's there because you can't hear it. I don't like that. Look at all this greenery. It's so nice. So nice. Oh, I think I'm coming up to town here. I better turn those off. So it's not at the SO here, it's at the next one. Petropass. Hopefully there's not someone there fueling already, because there's only one one little fuel island. Nope, we're good. Awesome. I'm gonna go in the other way. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. Ah, oh, I could have gone this way, they were turning. I was gonna give them time to pass. Oh well. Gambled and lost. Make sure you don't drag your trailer through that steep ditch. Oh, oh, there you go. Wonderful. We're on the left side of the pumps. Okay, this is clear diesel. That's marked diesel. I can't put marked diesel in this truck or I'll get in trouble if I get caught. I don't think my fuel card works with marked diesel anyway. Marked diesel, also known as like purple gas or purple diesel, uh, it just has a dye in it. So when DOT or whoever, the police or whatever, opens your fuel cap and if the fuel inside is purple, that means that it's for off-road use only for farmers. Uh, there's less taxes on it and it's cheaper. That's why people want to sneak it into their highway vehicles sometimes, right? But don't do it. I'm pretty sure the fines are pretty big. And so all that money you saved on taxes by putting farm fuel in your highway truck, you're going to have to pay 10 times as much in the fine. So not a good idea. We bought about 600 liters of fuel. Diesel fuel is, is just below two dollars a liter right now, so it probably costs about a thousand bucks. Which reminds me, I was gonna reset my tripometer. Ah, I forgot. Oh well, it'll be close. I'm trying to figure out how what the fuel economy of this truck is. I keep forgetting to reset my uh, tripometer. Oh well. Suicide corner. Here we come. It is 1.45 on a Wednesday, so we shouldn't have very many problems. We will have problems, but we shouldn't have too many problems. All right, you guys tell me when I should go, okay? I'll wait. I 
can't go yet. No, oh, oh, no, no. You guys, you didn't see that car coming. You told me to go. I would have cut that guy off. Okay, let's try again. It's gotta be clear this way. After this pickup, it's clear. Not clear that way though. Oh, oh, but after that pickup, it's clear that way. Nope, there's one more car. After that black car, it's clear that way. Okay, oh, now there's a car coming from there. Okay, so now it's not clear that way. Okay, so it's clear that way now. Now we gotta wait for a gap in this traffic to match a gap in that traffic. We gotta go, we gotta go, 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 go. Okay, after this white car, I'm gonna send it, okay? Get ready guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. Send it. No problem, like a boss. Hate that corner. Yet I punish myself and force myself to go there every day. I don't know why. I've got a letter. Somebody found my snail mail address that's down below every video. Scroll down there in the description long enough past all my whole life story and everything down there, past all my social media. There's a snail mail address. Someone sent me something. I think it's another picture. I think it's something that's gonna go up in the shop. Oh, oh. It's from, I should say who it's from. Ethan Bordreau in New Brunswick. This is awesome. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Nice. Check it out. <laughs> More artwork for my shop. This is gonna go right by Joel's picture. Now I got two. If you guys wanna, if you guys out there wanna draw me a picture or color me one like this, I'll hang them up in my shop. Thank you. Thanks, Ethan. Got a Canada sticker on there too. And he uh, wrote me a letter here. It says, hi, my name is Ethan Bordreau. Hi, Ethan. I'm graduating high school this year. I'm so excited. I love following your YouTube channel. I've been following your channel for a very long time. You're my favorite. Uh... You posted, and my favorite, oh, his favorite video that he posted is my wedding video. Thank you, that was my favorite video too. That really, that was my favorite day. I even started my own YouTube channel called Performances by Ethan Bordreau. We should go check that out. We should go check that out. P.S. You could read this in one of your videos. Awesome, thank you, I read it already. But uh, if you would have told me not to, I would have just cut it out and then <laughs> but since you say it's okay, we'll leave it in the video for everybody to hear too. It says, look at the back. Okay. Oh, okay. There's some contact information here. That part I'm not going to share on YouTube. Don't worry, Ethan. <laughs> we would love to hear from you if you have the time. That's awesome. And uh, if you guys want to see. All right. Here, one second, one second. I'm gonna make sure I know what I'm showing you. This is the letter. So he's got a puppy there. That is awesome. So thanks, Ethan. You know what I gotta start doing? I gotta start a, uh, a thing where I, I, I write back. Or if you write me a letter, I can write one back. I'm just... I'm hesitant promising that for everybody because I feel like if I promise that that I'm gonna get a, a, a An influx like a, a big amount of letters and I'm gonna feel so bad if I get so many letters that I can't respond to all of them But Ethan, I hope you have a great graduation. I love your puppy That's awesome Thank you so much for the letter and for the picture that's going up in the shop for sure right there Thank you very much I can feel it in my feet. Oh, 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 oh. She's dirty. She got dirty in there over the winter. I gotta clean her up. Look at this. Look at this mess. She missed me though, you can tell. I'm gonna take her to the shop and uh, clean her up, or at least put her away. Just fueled her up.
perfect. She's still all dirty, but uh, I will clean her off another day. My dad's around here somewhere, uh, and he's gonna give me a ride home right away. So I rode the bike here, and uh, I'll polish it off one of these days after work. At least then it's here, and then whenever I get home, you know, get the truck shined up, get it washed, and go for a quick, quick boot on the bike. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, give her the old bull snot treatment. I noticed on here, on the pipes, got a little bit of, a uh, little bit of scrubbing to do. Because the place where I had it parked, the roof came in, that, that carport, it broke in in the winter time and a whole bunch of snow fell on the bike. Ah, and it was minus 50 outside and I couldn't wash it off properly because everything was just frozen. Well, I'll fix it up. That's what I do. You take stuff that needs shining up, you make it look new again. <laughs>